I think with the reform movement, there's a lot of emphasis on the community and so it means that you are kind of, like your life does become, and it's cheesy to say, but your life does become very much a reform movement and I know that my life is definitely very involved with Aleph and with RSY, they've been very supportive over the years that I've done camp and even when we've been leading camp, they give a lot of support. So we've been doing it for a year now as Reform Young Adults. Um, empowerment, conversation, self-reflection, serious transformative relationships. And every week getting people in the room, 20, 30, 40 people, um, to have those kind of moments. It's, it's always nice when there's sort of family gatherings because there's four generations of reformed Jews, Jackie's parents. Uh, mine are dead now, but they were reformed Jews, uh, members of Hendon. Jackie's parents were members of West London, um, which is where we met. Um, and then the boys were all very active in Kolkai and the reform movement. And who knows about the grandchildren? Well, they're at Clough. No, they're at Clough. They're at Clough Shalom. Yep. My connection with Reform Judaism goes back probably about 25 years to a time when I had only ever been in an Orthodox synagogue, had never been in a Reform synagogue. I've been brought up in the Orthodox community, I'm not totally comfortable with it, and went along to Newcastle Reform Synagogue and I thought, wow, I've always been a Reform Jew. To come into a movement that really facilitates that and encourages people to be open and to be themselves I think that's really helped me figure out this is the kind of person I want to be, these are the kind of ideas I like, these are the kind of things I don't like. RSY is very good at encouraging people to step up and kind of push their boundaries, which you know, I never thought I'd go to Israel for nine months, and I guess RSY has really inspired me to do that. Every synagogue believes that what they do is the right way of doing things. Modern society has changed and the movement has been able to change with it. I guess one of the things I'm most grateful uh, to Reform Judaism for is um, is for the rabbis and mentors and teachers who took the time to sit with me and speak to me um, and reflect back something about myself. To be welcomed with open arms into a community where men and women were equal, where the rabbis were women, completely different to anything I had ever experienced. My connection with the movement as it is now just grew, it just escalated. And who would know that that very anxious, worried person of 20 odd years back would end up as the life president of the synagogue? Because that's part of the journey that I've been on. Rabbi Laura Jana Klausner has been my tutor and mentor for the last 
six or seven years. The conversations that happen with role, mo role models over a meal um, and the conversations in which someone reminds you um, of your potential. Um, and those conversations have been so important to me. We are all part of MRJ and we all have something to give as well as taking something back. So whatever background you come from, whether you're Orthodox background, whether you are Sephardic background, it doesn't really matter because you've got something to share. It's not just inclusivity, it is sharing for me. I think there's so many people out there, if we just seek them out and take them for that cup of, cup of tea, have the conversation, find out what they care about, and really encourage them, invite them to bring themselves to the Jewish conversation, then we're growing inclusivity, openness, education, decision-making, all those amazing reform values, but making it an even bigger conversation. RSY really does transform people in giving you that confidence and making you think, like, actually, I can, I can do this if I just rely a bit more on my community. I, I can do more than I could on my own. The movement gives an opportunity for the synagogues, the youth groups, all the other organisations that are part of it mm. to you know, push forward and actually develop the idea of, I think mean, that's where the change in Reform Judaism has come from, mm. is from the fact that actually the movement is actually driving it rather than just being a network. It's just, you know, it's just part of what we are really. Having that community and going to shul and recognising so many people and having so many familiar faces really makes a massive difference.